Uh, Superintendent Harris, I want to applaud you once again for everything you are doing on behalf of New Yorkers. Uh, Karen Persichilli Keogh, the Secretary of the Governor, has joined us, as well as Liz Fine, Council of the Governor. These are just a few of the team members who worked tirelessly throughout this weekend. We spent hours on the phone, uh, myself calling the White House, uh, the Superintendent speaking to everyone at the Federal Reserve, the Treasury Department, FDIC and all the financial institutions that were very much concerned about what was transpiring. And also a lot of business leaders. We spoke to you know, business leaders from the partnership. We spoke to the New York Business Council. We spoke to people at Rebney and Abney, and making sure that everyone knew in real time what was going on. So where do we stand? As you know, the New York State Department of Financial Services took possession of a New York chartered bank known as Signature last night. Uh, while that sounds extraordinary, that is what happens in terms of the transition from a temporary hold by the state and it's immediately turned over to the FDIC. The appointment, uh, the department appointed the FDIC to run the day-to-day -day operations. And this all is in the aftermath of what happened we saw on Friday unfolding with Silicon Valley Bank out in California. And this had an effect uh, on a bank here in particular, Signature Bank, and the superintendent will explain what happened here. But our view was to make sure that the entire banking community here in New York was stable, that we can project calm, that this is a time when we could manage a certain narrow situation, and to make sure that that did not get any worse. And that was what our objectives were. So what the Federal Reserve and the FDIC did this weekend was important. They invoke powers that were conferred to them to be create a stopgap situation, to give out the message to all depositors that their deposits, even above the $250,000 limit, which is in the law, uh, with FDIC protections, that those above that would also be protected. And what this did sent a ripple across the states and also the country that deposits would be protected. And that was important for people to hear. And having not just Silicon Valley Bank, but also Signature Bank on the list when these decisions were made in Washington yesterday was what we had really pushed hard for all weekend long to ensure that the same protections afforded the depositors at Silicon Valley Bank would also be afforded to the businesses and the and the families and the small town shops and everyone else who does business at Signature Bank to make sure that they knew they are protected as well. I'm very grateful to the Biden administration for their swift action. We are in communication all weekend long. They understood the need that we had here in New York to ensure that Signature Bank was also on the list of those that received this, this, uh, these additional protections because they saw that a run on a regional bank could pose a great risk to our stability. This was what the level of concern was over the weekend that people this morning waking up and deciding to take their money out of a bank because of uncertainty could lead others to flee regional banks and that would create incredible instability in a sector of the banking community that we think is particularly important and that would have had large ripple effects throughout the economy because these banks do hold deposits from small businesses and consumers, including those in the innovation economy, which is critically important to our life cycle here in New York State. Small businesses overall, the lifeblood of our city and our state, and we want to make sure that they also, again, had the confidence to know that their, their deposits and their ability to make payroll were protected. So we decided it was important to do whatever we could to protect them uh, from customers of Signature Bank, uh, particularly those who had uninsured deposits to know that they would be protected. So that's what the president reinforced a short time ago. And we want to make sure everyone knows the bank branches are open today. This was even an area that could have been in doubt over the weekend if, again, we were not successful in persuading the federal government to include Signature and all of its customers and its protections. So the banks are open. Everything is fine, calm. Now the FDIC is in charge of the bank, and they'll be communicating any further deals, uh, details about the future. But basically, uh, the management has changed. This was important. This is not a bailout of government taxpayer dollars. This is simply using fees that are uh, assessed on all banks by the FDIC in such a time they would need them. So that money is there. It's not from the taxpayers. 
but also now there's new leadership. So this is not uh, continuing the existing leadership that led the bank into the situation it's in. It is bringing a, a new flesh, fresh blood as well as hopefully a, per, a potential acquisition uh, that we'll be working forward as well. Um, this is an unusual circumstance, but the main message I want to deliver is that New Yorkers should have confidence that their money is secure and wherever they've chosen to bank, that that is protected. And we wanted to come out here this morning because they deserve that confidence and let them know that they should continue maintaining that level of confidence, that the banking industry in our state is strong, it is on solid footing, and the actions taken yesterday by the federal government and quickly implemented by our superintendent will go a long way toward bolstering that. I am grateful to the countless partners we had in the federal government who acted so thoughtfully and response, so responded so quickly. I'm grateful to the men and women of New York, the entrepreneurs who continue to build here, who have faith and confidence in our systems, and the companies who employ so many workers, and all of those who are keeping our state's economy so strong. I want them to know, once again, despite the jitters over the weekend, this is Monday, the banks are open, the assets are protected, the deposits are protected, and a lot of that was the result of the work uh, done by our superintendent to make sure that uh, we are looking out for our, our New York family here. So, Superintendent, uh, I'll turn it over to you, and then we'll take a few questions.